research is extremely important to zoos and wildlife people because nobody else is going to answer all the questions that need answering. It is the way that we find out more about how to better care for the animals that share our planet. In veterinary medicine, we've done a lot of research on the domestic animals, the ones we're most common, most commonly know, the dogs, the cats, the horses and cattle, but, but there hasn't been a lot of research on wildlife species. Millions of dollars of research went into domestic species, much, much less so for exotic species or wild animals. There has not been a lot of research for zoo and aquarium animals. Um, particularly when you compare it to the research that's done on people and dogs and cats. I think we're behind the eight ball and we need to catch up and I always quote Yuli Seal. The environment's under incredible pressure. We're losing species at incredible rates and we have to base our judgment on how to save those species on science, not on our wishes and our hopes, but on hard science and we need science to make the appropriate decisions. We still have an awful lot to learn about aquatic animals. A good research project is one that has uh, results that are directly applicable and, and can be uh, very quickly beneficial to the, the animals that were the target. A research project is really good when it is on a relevant topic and a species, uh, particularly a species of concern. Everything contributes to our greater knowledge and if what you have found out is a pebble and not a boulder, that is equally valuable. Negative results are just important of positive results. It will stop you from spending thousands of dollars moving down a path that isn't going to be successful. Negative results are great results. If, if your hypothesis is tested and the results turn out to be that your hypothesis is completely wrong, this is still excellent information that we need. A negative result is a result and it gives us the steps to move forward with the next part of research. Once we finish a research project, those results get incorporated into a scientific publication that goes on to a peer-reviewed journal. We always make sure that we present at at least one uh, zoo veterinarian conference. And that's the most important part, is getting the, the information out there once a project is finished. Often we do research with uh, animals that are in collections at zoos and aquariums and, and so forth. And, and many of those studies are really important for animals under human care. But a lot of what we learn about these animals, we can apply to animals uh, in situ or in, out in the, the wild, the free living animals. As you can imagine, it's pretty hard to study wild animals in their native habitat. So it's a great benefit in some cases to be able to study animals who are in human care those animals benefit and we could take a lot of our findings out to the wild and apply it to wild populations in order to improve their health. Aside from the Wild Animal Health Fund, there unfortunately are not a lot of funding opportunities available for research in, with zoo animals and, and wildlife species. Overall, there's very few funding uh, resources available for the animals in our care. I don't know of any other way to get wild animal and zoo animal research funded. The Wild Animal Health Fund was started by zoo veterinarians and the American Association of Zoo Vet Veterinarians and uh, that group of people has a very strong and vested interest in the health of wildlife. They are the ones on the front line of understanding how to care for animal health issues. It's run by zoo veterinarians who know where the needs are. The people who are running the fund are the ones that know what the issues are for the health and welfare of these species. There's absolutely no good reason not to do this research and not to fund it because we need it desperately. Uh, every dollar that comes into this fund does so much for the care and conservation of zoo animals and wildlife. Every time we complete a study and learn something new, we're making a difference. Without trying, I think we'd be looking at an even more catastrophic situation. Sometimes it's difficult for the general public to understand why we need to do research, but I think we can explain this to people, and I think once they get it, they really feel that they can contribute. The general public loves animals and loves wildlife, and I think that they'd be surprised at how little opportunity there is for research in wildlife health and how much need there is.